very exciting day uh, for us at, uh, at the University of Akron. Um, you know, great day for our football program. I'm very, very happy to announce uh, the signing of so many uh, really outstanding young men and football players who are going to be able to contribute to uh, our football program in so many uh, really special ways. And I think that this past month, um, has been a great month for us. We've, we've worked really hard as, as a coaching staff and uh, have put a lot of time in uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, not only, you know, are we, are we signing the best players uh, that we can, but also bringing in, you know, as many great players uh, from this area and, and from, the, from this region uh, to contribute to our program um, in, in unique ways. So uh, really excited to, to be able to, to announce this group. Um, just talk a little bit about the class itself, some of the guys that are you know, coming to the team next year from signing day. Um, I know, you know, we talked about it off camera, but a lot of obviously Ohio guys, a lot of guys from renowned high schools, both in Ohio and other states. So just what can you tell us about some of the guys coming in? Yeah, I think first and foremost, um, you know, I think this, you know, this, this past, uh, past month and, you know, really throughout the whole process, but, you know, in terms of, you know, the individuals who we signed today, um, I think we were able to address some really big needs in our program, and you know, you look at uh, you look at our, our depth at, at defensive back, and uh, we were able to sign um, you know three uh, three defensive backs um, in, in in this period. Uh, you look at Charles Amankwa, a great corner uh, for us, who's um, you know who's here, um, who you know was able to enroll early and has, has done a great job for us uh, so, so far in our off-season program, and uh, really excited about about what he brings to the the secondary. Um, also uh, able to sign uh, DeMarco Johnson um, out of Dutch Fork High School um, in, uh, in South Carolina. Um, he's, a, he's an outstanding player. Uh, I think he's won four state championships. Um, you know, one of the best programs in the country um, at, at Dutch Fork, and they are extremely well coached. Um, he's a, a really you know, incredible young man, great family, um, who's going to be a leader for us uh, in our program for the next four or five years. I'm really excited about him. Um, and, uh, and Ronald Jackson out of Belleville High School in, uh, in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, again, another great program, uh, great coaching staff uh, at Belleville. Uh, so successful, and you know he's a he's a player that we're really excited about. Um, I think that uh, you know his his film is you know as good as as anybody's um, you know that we've watched. He's a really physical, uh, really physical player. Um, you know that, that that I think fits into our defensive scheme um, really well. Um, we were also able to sign Julius Hawkins, a, a defensive lineman um, out of out of Florida, um, who's uh, again another you know six foot two, two hundred and sixty pound. Uh, def defensive lineman um, at a position you know that we really you know are still uh, are still working to to add depth to and uh, Julius is going to be a guy that um, you know is going to be able to come in and and compete right away you know and add depth to uh, to that group he's very powerful very explosive um, player and we're really excited about him um, you know on the offensive side of the ball um, George Qualls um, you know is, a, is an outstanding wide receiver. Uh, from Butler Community College, uh, extremely productive uh, in the in the Jayhawk League, which is you know the, the junior college league in in Kansas. Um, you know, is a, a guy that you know as you, as you talk to coaches in that league, uh, everybody everybody talks about George and and trying to defend him and the competitor that he is and uh, you know the, the playmaking ability um, that he has. So you know, really excited about uh, about adding George um, to our team. I think he's going to do uh, exceptionally well. Uh, for us, um, you know, in our in our program, Ryan Jankowski, uh, a quarterback from uh, from Vero Beach High School in Florida, uh, just a, an outstanding um, you know young man, uh, really you know exceptional uh, leadership abilities, um, great player. Uh, his dad uh, is the is a high, is the uh, head coach at Vero Beach. Uh, his mom uh, works in the school as well. Uh, just a really great family. And uh, I think Ryan's, uh, Ryan's talents and abilities are really exciting to me. Uh, he's, a, he's a great athlete. Uh, he can throw the football really well. He can throw it from in the pocket. He can uh, make plays you know, outside of the pocket. And I think what's exciting is you know, just his competitive spirit um, and uh, the leadership ability that, that he's going to bring to this program. Uh, so very excited about Ryan. Uh, Kanate Munfield uh, from Decula High School uh, in Georgia. Uh, another wide receiver, uh, so again, you know, being able, you know, to, to kind of fill some some important positions, some important roles on both sides of the ball. Uh, but Kanate is a, is an outstanding player. He uh, played in a great.
great high school program, you know, against, you know, some outstanding competition uh, in Georgia and um, was extremely productive. Uh, was, you know, their, one of their most productive players on the team, not only as a wide receiver, but also a, a defensive back. Um, you know, he's going to be playing wide receiver for us, but I think he had four interceptions, one, uh, you know, that he returned for a touchdown, uh, brings value in the kicking game as a returner, um, and just a, a really outstanding route runner. Uh, very polished uh, for a for a high school player, and I think you, you, know, you give a lot of credit to to the hard work that he's put in, and, and certainly the coaching um, at Tequila. So uh, very excited about all of those guys, and uh, you know, in addition, uh, you know, we, we were able to we were able to bring in um, so many great players from uh, from this area. Uh, Gamari Peterson is a is a is a is a player from Glenville uh, from Glenville High School, uh, Ginn Academy, um, who's just. A, he, an outstanding uh, athlete, um, dynamic, uh, safety, uh, can run the ball, is a great receiver, can just do a lot, can add value in the return game. Um, so really, you know, excited about him and excited to have a, a, a Glenville player um, in our program. Um, City of Cleveland is, is some of the best high school football in, in the country. And, uh, you know, the more guys that we add from that area, I think the, the stronger our roster uh, is going to be. So really excited, uh, you know, about Chop and um, know he's going to do some great things for us. Um, Nate Simon, uh, St. Ed's uh, wide receiver, uh, is coming in. Um, again, very excited about him. Was uh, you know, was off to a great start to his senior year at St. Ed's. Unfortunately, had an injury uh, that, that kept him out four or five weeks, uh, but still went on to have an outstanding season. He's a you know big, tall, um, athletic wide receiver that um, again brings championship pedigree um, into our program. And you know, we've we've been fortunate to, to have a, a number of St. Ed's players um, you know in our programs and certainly in places that I've coached in the past and um, understand what they bring um, you know outside of. Uh, just their athletic ability, so we're very excited about that. Um, able to uh, to sign uh, Kyle Bischoff from uh, from Menor High School. Um, again, another great program, uh, you know, in this area in Northeast Ohio. Um, that we've had the chance to coach a lot of players from Menor, and uh, you know, Coach Trevisano has done a, an outstanding job uh, there and uh, developing his players and preparing them for. Uh, for college football, so we're very excited uh, to add Kyle uh, to our to our roster as well. I think he'll do he'll do fantastically well for us. Um, out of the Pittsburgh area, um, Anthony Grimes. Um, you know, again, a lot like uh, a lot like Chop, a lot like uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Gamari Peterson from from Glenville. Um, Anthony Grimes is from Penn Hills. Again, a, a, one of the top programs in, in Western Pennsylvania. Uh, we have uh, his teammate here, uh, Corey Thomas, and uh, Sean Featherstone, who just finished up for us, uh, played there as well. Uh, you know, just an outstanding program. And uh, Grimes is, uh, you know, just again a very versatile athlete. Is capable of contributing in, in multiple ways um, in our program. And um, you know, whether that's a, a running back, a wide receiver, a combination of both in the return game. Um, is going to do you know exceptionally well for us. Uh, Bryce Prophet, uh, you know another you know outstanding uh, player from Medina Highland, uh, wide receiver, big, strong, physical, tough, uh, you know player who you know we are extremely excited about. High GPA, um, high character um, guy that uh, again is going to is going to bring so much um, to our program and, and add value in, in so many um, different ways. Also did really well uh, you know in Columbus. Um, with uh, you know two two players coming in from DeSales High School and Owen Faulkner and and Jalen Ball, um, you know Jalen's a little bit of a legacy uh, here at, at Akron. His brother Warren uh, was a great player here, worked here, um, just uh, was uh, part of the Super Bowl uh, as a scout for the 49ers now, um, but really excited uh, to have Jalen, uh, you know, coming into our program. I think he's going to do really well. Owen uh, also has a great connection uh, to to the University of Akron. His mom. Uh, you know, is, is an alum and, uh, you know, very, uh, very heavily involved in our alumni association. And uh, Owen's a great player. And again, you know, the sales high school is a great high school program where, again, we've had, uh, you know, so many successful players in our programs that have, that have come through. So very, uh, very happy to have, uh, to have both of those guys um, joining us as well. Uh, Kendall Marshall out of Toledo Central Catholic, another, uh, you know, outstanding, uh, you know, high school program. Uh, being able to bring in a couple guys from uh, Toledo Central Catholic um, in this year's class, uh, Kendall, um, along with John Zell Norrells, who we signed uh, in the December period. So really excited um, about them. 
um, and uh, you know Jamil Williamson out of Dublin Kaufman, you know another top program in the in the Columbus area, and um, you know just so many you know great players, um, and and more importantly, uh, great individuals who I think bring um, you know a, a, a great dynamic to our team, uh, well-rounded. Uh, people who are involved in a number of different sports, number of different activities and organizations at their high schools that, um, you know, bring great academic success um, with them that, uh, you know, will help, uh, you know, build our roster. And um, we're excited because there's, you know, there's great opportunity in our program for all of these young men to, to be able to come in and to be able to make an impact and to, to be a part of something and, and, and a part of building something um, really special uh, here at the University of Akron. So it's been a great day. Um, it's going to get better uh, as the day goes on. We still have a number of, of players that, uh, you know, we're working on that, you know, we'll be able to announce, uh, you know, as, as the day continues to go um, and probably over the next uh, over the next couple weeks as well. So, um, you know, very exciting times for us at the University of Akron and uh, the way that our roster is being built. And, uh, you know, you look at, you know, where we are currently in this position, um, today uh, versus this time last year, and it's just it's so exciting for me. Um, I think so exciting for our program, for our fans, for uh, everybody associated with the University of Akron, uh, because we are uh, really building an outstanding roster with with great young men um, who are going to represent the city of Akron and represent our, our university community and our program um, as well as, as as you could possibly hope for. So um, appreciate uh, all of them for believing in us and for believing in our program and our school. Um, appreciate their families um, have had a chance to, to get to know uh, most all of these uh, families. Um, and, you know, again, can't, uh, can't say enough how much we appreciate um, their trust in us and uh, the responsibility that we have um, to, uh, to continue to help, uh, you know, mold and, and develop their, their sons into to becoming the best, uh, best people um, that they can be. And uh, we're excited for that challenge and excited for that opportunity and um, appreciate, uh, appreciate all the support uh, from so many people uh, within the University of Akron. Uh, for helping us uh, structure our visits and uh, really being able to provide a really unique experience and an experience that really sets our program and sets our university apart uh, from everybody else that they're having the opportunity to go and visit. And that's, uh, that, takes the, that takes the commitment of so many people outside of the football program and uh, takes really a university's uh, commitment to, to be able to provide that type of experience. And I think as, as you look at this group of, of young men uh, coming to our program, uh, you'll see how exceptional they are and uh, the commitment that, uh, that everybody has made at the University of Akron to, uh, to, to be able to make that happen. So um, thank you so much, and I look forward to, uh, to the rest of, rest of the day, and uh, go Zips.